is a veteran and one of our volunteers. He's a regional director, meaning he oversees a lot of different districts in the state. He's a district captain for Convention of States, and it's my honor and pleasure to bring up George Carone. Thank you. And if you haven't guessed, I'm just like the rest of you. No different. Just living to be an island. But thank you for the opportunity to speak today. And if I'm not polished, it's because I don't speak very often. I was asked to speak to you because I'm a veteran, a Convention of States volunteer, and a patriot, none of which I count myself good at. I have not done enough to maintain and ensure our liberties. I can tell you in the last two weeks, I had the privilege to call many in our telepatriots and talk to many fellow islands, some of them veterans. Today, I would like to tell you about two of them that could not make it to the rally, but really wanted to be here. I had the pleasure to talk to Sergeant Skip, as he likes to be called, he is a Vietnam veteran who is now wheelchair bound with one eye missing and an arm immobile. He says, my body is riddled with Agent Orange and my health is failing. I asked him about his veteran care and he said it was great. They take good care of me and they've done all they could do. He said he really believed in what we were doing and wants to show his support. He just cannot make the trip. He expressed that Washington is broken and we desperately need COS. The next day he called me back again and expressed his support and told me he really wishes he could find a way to get here to the rally and support us. I also had the pleasure of talking to Duane, who is 91 year old Korean War vet. He is also wheelchair bound because he recently had fallen and broke, fractured his hip. He has been on oxygen for quite some time. He is worried about our country and wanted to be here. He says we give him hope because we are standing up to defend our freedoms. He said until his dying breath, he will fight to maintain the inheritance of liberty given to him by his parents and the generations before him. Both of these men care deeply about their country and have been following Convention of States for some time. I was able to share COS and how Iowa has grown and doubled our supporters in the last year. I shared about Convention of States. <clears throat> Both of them became energized, enthusiastic, hopeful that, they, that we would succeed and our republic would be returned to the original intent of self-governance. They both thanked me for taking the time to listen. They said, nobody listens to us anymore. As veterans, many of us have seen the tragedy of tyranny. Skip, Duane, and I understand why Convention of States is a solution to keep ourselves a self-governing nation. Our veterans, brothers and sisters, served and some died to keep America a land of liberty. I came to realize, unless I stand up now and work on a solution to keep our, free, us free from tyranny, my children and grandchildren would one day ask me, Dad, what did you do? Dad, what did you do? And I would have to say, sorry, I was too busy, too fearful to speak out and just thought someone else would do it, so I did nothing. I'm sorry you have to live in tyranny, have no property rights, and your children are now the property of the state, but I was, it was just too hard, the task was too much to bear, so I did nothing, sorry. Like many of you, God has shaken me to my core and awakened me. I want to be able to face my God, my children, Dwayne, Skip and my fellow veterans and say, I gave all I could. I fought the good fight. I am no longer lukewarm, 
but press on with determination to see Convention of States a reality and return my country to its founding principles. Convention of States gives hope to us veterans. Thank you and God bless you. I'm here live in Philadelphia at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. When you hear the phrase, lives, fortunes, and sacred honor, these are the folks we should think of, those who anonymously gave their lives. Well, today you have a chance to volunteer. You need to volunteer for conventionofstates.com, the movement that's going to save the country. These folks were willing to step up and give everything. We need you to give just a little bit. Go to conventionofstates.com and volunteer today.